Today, we're going to talk about a topic that's often asked. Why doesn't the Earth have rings like Saturn? And what would happen if Earth did have rings? To start, let's take a look at what planets have rings around them. These are the four gas giants. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Their rings are made up of small ice particles, rocks, and dust. Saturn's rings are the most magnificent of all, and were discovered by Galileo in 1610. These could have been formed when one of Saturn's moon got too close, and was ripped apart by the planet's gravitational pull. The rings could also have formed by a colliding meteor or a comet. These could also be the remnants from the early solar system that got trapped by the planet's gravity. Saturn's rings are abundant in icy particles that shine bright by reflecting the sunlight, making them visible from Earth even through a small telescope. The rings around the other gas giants are fainter and were discovered much later. Jupiter's rings were discovered in 1979 by Voyager 1 spacecraft. Why do these planets have rings and not Earth? And why doesn't our moon disintegrate under Earth's gravity to form a ring of debris? One reason for this is the Roche limit. The Roche limit is an important factor to consider when it comes to the formation of rings around a planet. The Roche limit is the minimum distance at which an object will start to break apart due to the tidal forces under the gravitational pull of a larger object. The distance depends both upon the size of the smaller object and the gravitational pull of the larger object. For Moon, the Roche limit will be 18,000 kilometers. It is orbiting Earth safely at 384,400 kilometers, far beyond the limit. Another factor to consider is something called the frost line. This is the point beyond which ice in the solar system does not melt when exposed to direct sunlight. For our solar system, this is between Mars and Jupiter, around the asteroid belt. If icy particles were to form a ring around the Earth, it will quickly melt away. Can the Earth trap an asteroid within the Roche limit? Will it disintegrate to form rings? Something like this is an extremely rare possibility. If such rings were formed, they will soon be disrupted due to Moon's gravitational pull. In case they get too close to the atmospheric limit, the drag will slow them down. This will cause the rocks and dust particles to be drawn towards the Earth, and eventually burn up in the atmosphere. What about a comet? A comet's relative momentum is higher compared to an asteroid. It will have to slow down considerably to get trapped in Earth's gravity, disintegrate, and form rings. As comets are mostly made of ice and dust, these rings will also quickly disappear due to sun's radiation. What if the Earth somehow managed to get rings? How will it impact us? Rings around the Earth's equator will make placing geostationary satellites next to impossible and will also disrupt space travel. Depending upon their density, the rings will cast a shadow on the Earth. The shadow will alternate between the two hemispheres, based on the tilt in Earth's axis and its position around the Sun, making the winters even colder. Rings like Saturn, around the Earth, will reflect a lot of light. We will lose a perfectly dark night sky and a magnificent view of the stars and the Milky Way.